So this, that's LG NDV2. That's a 2013 Mega Cab Cummins Laramie Longhorn that you can win. People have been asking us to do an overview video like we have with our past giveaways where you can see every single piece and part of this truck that you could possibly win. So let's get right to it. First and foremost, the whole entire truck was completely paint corrected and ceramic coated using Kenzo coatings by Rick and Forge Motorsports. So if you guys want a truck or a car, whatever it is that has pretty bad paint, ceramic coated, take a look at this paint real quick. Hit up Rick from Forge Motorsports, Forge Rick on Instagram, and he'll get you fixed up. Let's hop into the uh, the parts on this truck. So to start, the most prominent thing is the wheels. So we have 24 by 12 American Force wheels, polished with metal lug spiked lug nuts, and needle tower grappler tires, 305, 35, 24s. Suspension setup on this thing, we have a two and a half inch level in the front, and drop shaft is in the rear. So this, is a, this was a stock height truck when we got it. The front was drooped up three inches, so we raised the front two and a half inches, dropped the rear two inches, and then threw on Fox shocks, 2.0 shocks, front and rear. And then to top it off, we did the Flight Fab traction bars, which they actually custom make these per customer request. So if you want them in black with a stainless steel um, polished plate like we have on these, you could do that, or you can have that powder coated. They even include lights in the back of these so that that logo lights up. We didn't opt for that because we didn't throw rock lights on this truck. But regardless, these are the cleanest bars, in my opinion, for the Rams. So we decided to throw a set of those on here. All right, so next up is the lights and the paintwork. Not all of you know this, but I used to own Legends Off-Road, this logo right here, and we used to customize lights. That's what we specialized in. So we still, to this day, build all of our lights on all of our giveaway trucks and our personal trucks. So these are Morimoto headlights, in which are $1,300 alone before customization. So we opened these up, painted them completely black, did the amber delete so that you don't have an amber light just sticking out at night. We don't like the amber lights. So no more amber, completely painted black, and these lenses are actually painted in between because the bottom LED right here is a running light, the top is a signal, and these ones actually come completely clear lens. So that's a big lens right there. I don't really think it looks too good. So we painted that, bordered it basically to give it a little bit more of an accent. Next up is the Morimoto fog lights. These are LED projector fog lights that actually come plug and play. And to be honest, these are way better than any factory head, or sorry, fog light. And way better than a factory fog light with an LED bulb or an HID bulb. So we do these for the look and the performance. And we also paint these uh, bezels completely smoothed out, color matched black. While we're up here, might as well talk about the grill. So this is a 2018 grill off of 2018 to 2019. Uh, Ram 2500, Ram HDs only had these grills. That's an $800 grill and then we took that apart and painted it and left some chrome just to give it a little bit more of an accent. Um, the last giveaway truck that was identical to this, if you guys remember, was LG ND1. And LG ND1 had the same exact grill except it was completely blacked out. So this is literally the same exact grill, but we left the chrome trim right here and then we left the chrome emblem. Work our way back to the back of the truck. On our way back, we have mirrors, factory mirrors, obviously. Dodges, they slide up. Left the chrome caps, but we completely color matched the plastic. So this is all smoothed out plastic. That used to be textured black plastic and we don't really like that. So same thing with the antenna, smoothed out black plastic before. Now it looks good and matches the actual paint. On the top of the truck, we have Recon white LED cab lights, color matched black with just little slits for the light to pass through. Really no paintwork on the side of the truck. The, the handles are factory, those are chrome with the black accents on them. Um, we didn't want to do all black in this truck, we wanted to have a little chrome on here, the polished wheels to set it off. The bed cover, we have a, be, a backflip MX4 bed cover. These are the only bed covers that I put on any of my trucks, any of my vehicles, because they're flush. So if you're looking at the truck from the side, you don't see a massive object sticking out from your bed. So we did that. And then we also back here threw in 2019 Ram HD taillights. So these are actually factory LED. And the nice thing about these is they're, since they're factory, you're not gonna have any issues with LEDs going out. Um, the quality's better, the plastic's better, and reliability. Um, on top of that, they look amazing. So we did uh, factory LED taillights with the conversion harness from Retro Shop to actually make these work. If you guys are wondering, the 2019 taillights from the 2019 Ram HDs fit right into these trucks. The only thing that you need, obviously, are the taillights and the conversion harness. So these run about 
and then the conversion harness is about 250 so you're in it anywhere from a thousand to twelve hundred dollars for the conversion but after we bought these we painted them it's a little dirty so don't pay attention to the, to the dust but bordered it in black and then had the signal or sorry this is just the brake light the brake light LED is in matte black so it actually sets it apart from the rest instead of one big blob of black and then these signals which are these two little LEDs right here are left unpainted so there's some contrast tailgate and tailgate handle tailgate handle was obviously factory black plastic completely smooth and color match that but one thing that we always do on our ramp because I don't like massive emblems and you can't debadge these trucks because if you take this emblem off there's gonna be a massive indent the shape of the emblem on your tailgate so our solution was bring it to our painter Brody at classic coach works in Southbury Connecticut in Connecticut and uh, have him completely smooth the tailgate and then repaint it so this this tailgate's literally fresh paint I mean the whole trucks fresh paint because Rick fixed it it was it wasn't the best but right now I mean I don't think it can get any better than this um, bumper we left black it was actually chrome before so this is a Laramie Longhorn so it actually came with um, chrome front and rear bumpers so this is a freshly painted bumper as well the front is also completely freshly painted and the balance in the front if you guys caught that in the video is also was black plastic and is now color matched and smoothed well enough of the outside of the truck let's go over to the performance side I gotta open the door to pop the hood so might as well show you the interior while we're here Laramie Longhorn like I said so you have the cool old west type stitching the little belt look at the belt buckle on the uh I, I don't get why they do that but it's it's unique I'm just gonna take this off and use it as a belt and then the front so 2013 was the first year that they started doing the new style um head units I mean honestly I would <laughs> if I could if I wasn't giving this away I would keep it but very comfortable interior and um Honestly, it just looks classy. So we have in this truck Easy Link monitor with a five position switch for the tunes and performance mods. We have a Jamo exhaust, which you can't really see, but Jamo exhaust with a six inch MBRP tip. And then under the hood, we have the stainless diesel second gen kit, which allows you to put a turbo on top of the manifold versus on the bottom. And it changes the sound of the truck a lot, which is why this truck sounds so good. But so stainless uh, diesel second gen swap kit. We didn't do that. It actually came with it when we bought the truck. The truck had a 472 when we bought it and we swapped that out for a 467.7 by force and by force induction. Um, it did not have a CP3, so it didn't, it had a big turbo. And it had big injectors it had 100 percent over injectors but the cp3 was actually stuck so the cp3 couldn't even support the injectors so we changed everything over we did a 10 millimeter cp3 with 45 percent injector nozzles with stock bodies so now it runs reliably and clean um, underneath the valve cover we have hamilton push rods hamilton valve springs and then on the right of the motor we have a bd intake horn and to top it off, we have a fleece coolant bypass kit, which is basically just, that's exactly what it sounds like. It's just bypassing coolant. So a few things that you can't see, we have a Beans Diesel sump, which is, it's a sump. It goes on the bottom of the fuel tank. It allows you to actually get to the bottom of your um, fuel gauge without running out of fuel. Um, and it's a lot easier for the pump to draw fuel. On top of that, we also have a fast 165 GPH fuel pump, and that is under the bed, so you can't see that. Uh, I did forget one more thing for suspension underneath the front because you can't really see it, so I forgot it. Um, Carly suspension, adjustable track bar. When you lift these trucks since they're solid axle, you need an adjustable track bar. So we went with the best Carly suspension. It was about an $800 track bar. So if you win this truck and you want to lift it or lower it, you're not going to need a new track bar because you have the adjustable one. All right, so today is February 12th. This giveaway ends on the 28th, so if you haven't gotten an entry to win this truck, I would do that now. You're going to take home this truck and $20,000 in cash. And on top of that, you're going to be able to spend a whole day with us and your new truck and have some fun. So, I mean, buying a shirt or a decal to win 
a badass truck at twenty thousand dollars doesn't sound too bad does it so hurry up get entered now you don't want to miss out you didn't win the first one or didn't even enter for the first one now's your second chance because this is a pretty much identical truck but better so anyways guys good luck get entered